Hello everyone, this is a QGIS tutorial to show you how to select specific features from your data set and export them as Esri shapefiles. I'll also be covering how to use the spatial query as well as using a simple buffer tool. Alright, the first thing that we need is some data. So let's go ahead and use a Florida County map. Now here's the interesting thing. This map itself is actually projected using an Albers equal area projection which which displays its map units in meters. Uh, keep this in mind as this will be very very important much later on once we uh, get to the buffer portion of this tutorial. Now as you can see if you actually click this little bottom right, bottom right hand icon here you're, this actually shows you the actual coordinate system as well as the projection used for your current map. And I'm also going to show as well here that the map unit for this particular project is set in meters. Now the next uh, layer I need to add is the point file for the biomedical waste facilities from November 2011. So let me just go ahead and double click on it to add to my map. Alright, it looks like our point file was actually successfully uploaded. Now the first thing we want to do is change the color scheme of the points simply because having a dark purple as well as a dark turquoise color it it's not really appealing so let's go ahead and change that uh, purple color to a pink color next what we want to do is I want to look at uh, Swanee County only so let's go to uh, Swanee County by zooming in using the zoom using the zoom in tool now the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, select the county layer to make sure it's active so this way I can use the select uh, tool using this, this little uh, icon here and from there I can actually then select Swanee County only. Next I want to export this as its own layer. So in order to do that I go to layer then choose save as. From there this new dialog box will appear. Now this dialog box actually gives us a multitude of options that we can work with. For, ins for instance we could save it as a different type of file however for this I definitely want to keep it as an Esri shape file. Now save as this right here is very, very important. Make sure you click the Browse button and choose the folder that you want to store your uh, new layer in. If you don't do this and just type in a simple uh, title and then save the layer, the layer is actually then it's saved, but it's actually sent to a QGIS uh, di uh, directory folder somewhere within your hard drive. And this makes finding it quite a hassle. So be sure to save yourself the time and trouble by clicking the browse button and specifying the folder beforehand. You also want to make sure that you select the option for select use only selected features. This in turn uh, only allows you to use the feature that you highlighted. In this case we have Swanee Kai all by itself and because of that we no longer need the whole uh, county map of Florida so I can go ahead and just uh, turn off that layer. Now I only want to select the points within the county. So I have two ways of doing that. The first is actually going to the little select icon and clicking the drop down arrow and choosing select county, excuse me, select, uh, select features by uh, freehand which allows you to draw a custom box in, uh, around spe uh, specified objects so you can uh, collect your points. Or you can go to the vector tab and scroll down into spatial query. Uh, this query actually, uh, we have to make sure that our uh, source layer is actually the point layer we have to make sure they're located within the parcel and at the same time we have to also make sure that, that the Swanee uh, layer is also used as a reference. And from there we hit go, let the thing work. Uh oh, it looks like my QGIS session actually crashed on me. Uh, this sometimes will happen if you try using applications in a GIS software. However, however just be patient and the software will eventually uh, correct itself. And from here, as you can see, we have all the points inside Swanee County highlighted and they're also displayed here in this little uh, special query dialog box. Now this dialog box also gives the option of actually creating your a new layer from your selected points. Now once you click the button the, the new layer will automatically appear in your uh, layer box as shown right here. However I would not normally recommend doing something like this simply because um, you have no control over where the layer is actually saved. So as a result, you don't know where the layer could actually be. 
So I recommend doing the old-fashioned method and simply exiting out of the spatial, uh, spatial query box and manually choosing uh, Save As under the Layer uh, menu tab, just so this way you can manually save it. Let me go ahead and turn off the large layer and we'll keep my selected points layer. Next, the, the one thing I want to do now is again change the color scheme so this way the colors are actually, well, at least the uh, point colors stand out on the blue background. Alright, the next thing I need to do now is I need to go to my attribute table for my new point layer so then I can figure out which sort of category I want my map to display ex exclusively. My main focus here is the program subcom which contains a small variety of different sort of bio biomedical waste facilities. So now what I, what I need to do now is I need to create an expression so I can figure out which one of the categories I want to show. To do that I go under fields and values and choose program sub. Next I, I need to make sure my program sub equals one of its own categories so I choose the equal sign. And while this thing is still selected, I need to click on right over here for it says uh, unique values. I need to load them all. And this gives me all the unique values for this particular column. Let's see, which one should I pick for this map? How about medical doctors? That's, that's, that sounds like a nice one. So from there, we click on select. As you can see from the attribute tail behind my uh, expression box, it has now highlighted all the medical doctors within Swanee County. Let me just click and drag the box so you can see it. With these new highlighted points, I need to do the same thing I did two times now, and that is to save it as a brand new Esri shape file. Now, you're probably thinking, oh man, oh man, there's so many things I need to get track of. Why should I keep doing this? Why, didn't, why do I need to keep saving it as a brand new shape file? Well, for one thing, it makes it much easier for you to manage your data, plus you know exactly uh, where your data will end up, unlike the special query option, which does not give you that uh, luxury. So, not only that, but if you end up not using the layer, you can simply backtrack to your previous uh, shapefile and use that for more additional research. Same rules apply. We need to make sure that it's in the proper file, as well as make sure to use only the selected features. From there, we hit OK. And now we have our newly uh, highlighted features, so we'll turn off my old layer and again change the color scheme of this new one simply because it is too dark. Now since I'm unsure of what sort of color scheme QJS will actually give me for the buffer, I'm actually going to go ahead and change the color scheme for the background to a, a, a lighter shade of blue. Just to ensure that in case the QJS decides to give me a dark color for the buffer, that it does not, uh, it's at least more pleasing to look at. Go to a lighter shade of blue. Now, in order to create a buffer, you need to make sure that your point layer is selected, and you also need to go to the uh, vector tab and scroll down to geoprocessing tools, then choose the uh, buffer option. Now, here's the standard uh, buffer dialog box. Move that over here. We want to make sure that our, our input layer, our source layer, is our points. Segments to approximate. This basically says uh, the higher the number, the smoother the buffer appearance. Now, buffer distance. Remember when I said that meters were coming to play? It's exactly wh where it comes into play here. Uh, since we want to have a buffer raise of one mile, we need to make sure that we type in the appropriate meter uh, equivalent, which is 1609 uh, meters. We also want to make sure that the dissolve option is checked. Uh, normally, when you create buffers, their circles tend to overlap each other. Having the, the dissolve option checked actually eliminates these uh, overlapping lines and creates the impression of a one large continuous uh, image. We also need to make sure that we save it. I'll be sure to save it in a in bold, excuse me, not bold, capital letters, so we know this is our 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 final uh, buffer. Hit OK, and here is our final product. Now the only thing I have left to do now is switch the uh, the two layers around so we can see the points on top of their respective buffers. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.